something. Like, we gotta talk about this, bro. Throughout the whole oh, time. My $100,000 wig was gone. That job was messed up, man. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sammy back with another video. Y'all know what time it is, bro. Y'all see by the title. Now, I'm not gonna cap. Y'all gonna see these videos dropping back to back if you're not new. And listen, we just gotta talk about it. So I just had to. I just had to. But, you know, before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos y'all want to see in the comments down below. But listen, we got to talk about this stuff, bro. Listen, we just, we got to talk about it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Depending on how this video go, y'all, honestly, that's going to depend on how many, you know what I'm saying, segments of this episode we get through. But first, let's get into this Rolly and Biggie nonsense. Let's just let's just get into it. One negative Nancy in a room that's kind of like bothering <laughs> me and God damn it. This shit really started. He can't like help it. Over Tommy. She can't help it. It's cool. Over fucking Tommy. Somebody say something about Tommy. It's like you a fucking goddamn grizzly bear. You finna attack. I'm I'm sick of that shit. We didn't already have this discussion. You right. can't not have a good fucking time because you're so worried about her. Okay, we get it. No, no, you have no, hostility towards her, but leave it the fuck alone. I have, though. Don't make it seem like I haven't. We've been in the club. I'm not making it seem like shit. You are. We've been in the club. I don't even. Minding our business. I've been in the club doing my mic. When somebody says something mic, about Tommy, know. it's more worth to understand. You just met her. That is not your fucking friend. You just met her. You don't have to do that shit. No, someone you said a comment. Yeah, no. No. You just did it. Like, we got to talk about this, bro. Throughout the whole season. Bitches is mad at me because I chose my... Bitch, I chose my side. All right. I'm done with this bitch. My whole nail is gone. My $100,000 wig was gone. Side and that's what I did. Got my lick back, so we good. I'm not about to sit here and if argue with her every day. I wasn't there. Yeah. Argue with her every day. Girl, every time you have a conversation with her, no, it's something negative. No, we walked by each other no, in the no, kitchen. No, 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 we've no, been no, walking no, by each other no, in the no, house. No, no. We have. Fuck this bitch. This bitch. You never have nothing we positive have, I haven't for said feedback nothing because you want to impress Tommy. I'm uh, trying to uh, uh, uh. understand that if this is your long Come on, because I just had to listen to what Biggie just said. Did she just say we walked by each other in the kitchen? My thing is, though, like, that's what makes people think you have more of a problem with somebody than you probably do. Because stuff like that, you can walk by me in the kitchen, you can walk by me anywhere in the house. But the minute the cameras come on or the minute you get around your friend, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a different energy with me now. Like, if you cool with me walking past you, why make it an issue when we in a group meeting? I don't know though. I don't know. I'm just saying. Let's just let's just finish this. I'm you just saying though, y'all. I'm just saying. Years. Yes, I understand that. But when it's time to square up and protect Tommy against Stun and her fucking people, right. I want to see if you really bought that life. Because if you really protected her now, sitting on this motherfucking couch like that, honey, you need a reality check. Tommy is not your friend. She is not your homegirl. Bro, you look like going a lap in, dog, man. It's all I want to say about it is I told people from the get-go, like literally, I think it was episode three, I told people, I was like, Biggie whole thing was stunning. She just don't like that girl. Like, y'all can go back, watch my old videos of me talking about it. Like, she just didn't like her and it's okay. It's okay. Everybody has moments where it's somebody you just don't like. You know what I'm saying? You don't like how they act. You don't like whatever it is and you just don't like them. But... When you doing a business and you trying to run something and you got other people around you, at the end of the day, this was your job, you feel me? Put all that to the side. Have your squabble, squabble that and let it go. You don't drag it on every episode, every other episode. And I felt like that's what Vicky was really doing. It's like, every time we see you on camera with Stunner, y'all are arguing and half the time it's you starting it with her. Like, this scene, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You starting with her and she wasn't even saying nothing. Like, 
you can say you weren't trying to direct it towards her, but it's apparent that you were trying to direct it towards her. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it don't gotta be that serious, you feel me? Like, I get the loyalty thing, I get how people wanna be right or dying for their people. I get it. But, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand who you doing it for, for one. And two, you gotta look at it like, am I right or dying for them the right way? Am I? Like, like come on. But, I messed with Roly. You know what I'm saying? This episode at least because I feel like she said what everybody was too, like, on eggshells to say to Biggie. Like, yeah, Kat started it off with a little what she said, but I felt like everybody else was too much on eggshells because they didn't want to be in the middle of it. They didn't want to say, like, you're annoying. Even when they were saying in the confessionals, like, oh, my God, like, she keep on talking. Nobody wanted to say that to her face. But Rolly was like, listen, bro, I'm going to keep behind it with you. Stop. <laughs> Stop, cuz, stop, chill, vibe, vibe twin. But nah, like, that was just too much. That whole thing was just too much. And I don't know who edited it, but yeah, it was just too much. But I wanna go to, um, <laughs> I wanna watch this one. We gonna do Biggie and Tommy. And this one too. We finna, let's get into this one. <laughs> this one, nah. Listen, I heard Tommy already say that she didn't mean that or whatever, but it was just funny. So we finna watch it. Okay, let's let's get to it. Yo, sis, are you listening? So I got on the phone with Tommy and I'm letting her know, like, hey, I'm in the front by myself, but it's like, bro, where you at? Listen, please. Mm -mm. Shit just got shit got real weird at the crib, nigga. Like real weird. Shit got ah. real weird at the crib. <laughs> um, you know, we was having a meeting all together, and um, they kept repeating, Shit. oh, this is Thunder City. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing the whole time. No, no. I don't know. I hold feel on, like gang. Let me, I know, nothing. gang. Until she's listen seen to me, right? I didn't say awful. nothing the whole time. Like, bro, I've been silent. Didn't say shit the whole time. Then, Lowe said, Lowe said, oh, maybe Tommy's not coming. Because I'm gonna rewatch like, the scene though just to um, see like what City or really fully happened again. Like, make City. A, make so I said, uh uh. Look. I said, uh uh. That's a lie. I said, we're not gonna do none of that. And they can't All the hear her. saying how you're not my real friend, how I'm backed up behind you. I get Biggie uh. calling me on the phone, talking about, uh, sis, they say that you're not really so my mean. friend. I said, bitch, believe him. <laughs> believe him, bitch. <laughs> Believe no, like Tommy, too, really. Bitch. Get the fuck off my motherfucking phone. No, phones. she had to be mad. At this point, I'm aggravated. Then, right? Then they made it seem like I was wrong. Tell him I'm not coming. She said, "Tell him I'm coming." Because <laughs> you did not want to do. Hold on, because I really Crushed felt it. bad for her in this moment. But at the same time, it was just to show her, like, girl, we get it at first. You know what I'm saying? We was riding with you. But at, at a certain point, you got to let stuff go. If you want to be miserable, be, be miserable by yourself. It wasn't them trying to segregate you. It was just like, if you're going to pick and choose to start with this girl, stay up there then. Just stay up there because it's not fair. Like, the person that you're trying to pick at ain't picking with you. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But that job was messed up, man. I know Tommy said she ain't mean it. She was just upset, but like, dang. I didn't know she really said it. I didn't hear her say it on the phone too just now. Like, she really did say believe him. Nah, believe him. Like, what you what you mean believe him? What you what you mean? Dang, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all, let me know how y'all feeling about these two clips. I just did. How y'all feeling about the Roly thing? What Roly had to say? How y'all feeling about Tommy and Biggie? How y'all feeling about Biggie? in general let me know in the comments down below man we got more videos to get into like i said at the beginning if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe for more of my videos you know what i'm saying and i'll see y'all for the next one bye